So welcome everyone uh, this afternoon to the Hadley Farms Meeting House uh, to celebrate and honor Mike Mason for a big step forward for him in his career as the, the new uh, police chief for the town of Hadley. Uh, I told him any chance I can embarrass him, I'm gonna. Well, I have to do this. So, but before we get started, uh, we have the fire department color guard. So I would like to ask you to ri uh, rise for the presentation of the colors. Detail, Lieutenant Judge Ford Clark, Thank you very much. Please be seated. So before we get started with the official presentation of Mr. Chief Mason, uh, we'd like to uh, just announce some special folks that are here with us today. And the list has grown, so if I don't have your name on here, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> but I'll do the best I can. So first off, we'd like to welcome District Attorney David Sullivan. If you could just rise and say hello. Assistant District Attorney Steve Gagney. <laughs> Clerk Magistrate Bill Nagel. <laughs> select, uh, representing the Town of Hadley on our select board, we have Joyce Chunglo. <laughs> Brian West. <laughs> Molly Keegan. And our town administrator, David Nixon. We also have some local chiefs with us today uh, and other uh, local uh, service folks. Uh, we have the Pelham chief, Gary Thoman. The Amherst police chief, Scott Livingstone. From the State Police, we have Detective Lieutenant Robin Whitney. And just a special thank you, and we'd just like to recognize the folks that took a lot of time uh, to go through this uh, Chief Search Committee. So we would like to recognize R.C. Stevens and William Bannock, Kelly Bannock. We have a special welcome today. Mrs. Janet Huckowitz and Andy Huckowitz. <laughs> and then uh, finally, we wanted to say thank you to the Parmar family for helping out putting together this event today. And then there's one last really important group of folks that we have to welcome today. And I'm sure Mike would agree they're the most important. And that's Morgan, Riley, and Kelly Mason. So thank you again, and we're going to get started and get right into it. So I would like to welcome to the podium uh, retired Lieutenant Mike Majeski. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is quite an honor for me to be asked to uh, uh, say a few words about uh, Chief Mason. 
who um, I'll refer to as just plain Mike from now on. Um, Mike is one of those nice guys, and I know everybody says, yeah, everybody says everybody's a nice guy. But Mike is truly a nice guy. Um, that may change in the next uh, few days or weeks or months as uh, he settles into his new job. Uh, but he will know how to handle it. Uh, he's a level-headed guy. Uh, he's smart, intelligent, however you want to put it. When he first came to the police department here in Hadley, I can remember Dennis and I looking at each other and saying, well, he won't be here long. He's way above our level. And um, slowly as time went on, uh, he showed us that he was going to be somebody who stuck around. Uh, he listened to what he was told to do. He followed direction. Um, he may have questioned it, but he did his job. Um, there are very few people in, that I can recall asking them to do something, and as long as they weren't asked to break the law, he did it. He did it without hesitation, and he instilled that in the other people that he worked with. Um, we have a lot of uh, great people working at the Hadley Police Department. Um, the support is going to be there for him. Uh, he is going to make the town of Hadley proud of the decision to choose him as the next chief. And um, I don't want to carry on forever because I could mention a lot of little things, and uh, but. Uh, Mike, like I said, is going to make us all proud. He's going to make Dennis proud. He's certainly going to make me proud. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to now introduce and bring to the podium Officer Doug, Douglas Costa. Eight days ago, <clears throat> Mike Mason officially began his time as chief of police with the Hadley Police Department. Uh, six years to the day earlier, I met him for the first time. That day in 2009, I was interviewing for a full-time opening with the Hadley Police Department in front of a three-person interview panel. And one of them was, at the time, acting Sergeant Mason. Later that year, I began working for the Hadley Police Department the night I was appointed <clears throat> happened to be the same night that Mike Mason officially assumed the role of sergeant. At the time, <clears throat> at the time Chief Alkowitz assigned me uh, to train with Sergeant Mason as my field training officer. We spent the better, parts, the better part of the next six weeks in a cruiser together. During the six weeks, I learned countless lessons about being a police officer and about this town from Sergeant Mason. While well, assigned to train with Mike Mason, I realized, that, <clears throat> realized I was learning from somebody who would one day be leading this department, although I'm not sure that he realized that yet. I did not realize at first that Mike was not a lifelong Hadley resident, as his love for this community and the police department made me think he'd always been here. That passion for this town is something that I've seen him pass on not only to me, but other officers who are not from town that he was involved in their training. In the weeks leading up to the selection of our new police chief, <clears throat> the department really came together around Mike Mason. We knew he was going up against strong candidates, but we as a department knew that he would be the right choice for the job. Any given conversation between Mike and any member of the department would involve ideas and discussions about the future or trying to think of interview style questions to ask him during meal breaks. It was as though he was interviewing for the entire department 
and we all wanted to do anything we could to help. The best analogy to what it would have looked like from the outside would be a team of trainers preparing a boxer for a title bout. He wound up victorious, so I think his new nickname is going to have to be Iron Mike. <laughs> the night Mike Mason was selected as our next chief, there was an outpouring of support both from the community and the members of this department, past and present. It was ultimately a unanimous selection by the board after being the top recommendation by the chief search committee. He could not have possibly had any more support than he did. The town should be both proud and excited moving forward with Chief Mason. Proud to have groomed such a strong internal candidate and excited because he's ready to lead this department and will for a long time. So on behalf of the entire body of the Hadley Police Department, congratulations Chief Mason. So before we get into the official swearing in, I personally wanted to say thank you to Chief Mason and his family for allowing me to be your MC today. And you know how I feel, how excited I am to work with you. Um, it's gonna be an exciting adventure. And I can tell you right now, folks, that the adventure has already started. So I thank you for that. So I would now like to invite up another very special person to me. <laughs> Be my wife, Jessica Spangnable, the town clerk. Jessica will be uh, doing the swearing in, so Mike Mason, could you please come up as well? Much more important for them to hear you than me. <laughs> Raise your hand. I, Mike Mason. I, Mike Mason. Do you solemnly swear to faithfully and impartially? Do solemnly swear to faithfully and impartially. Perform all the duties imposed upon me. Perform all the duties imposed upon me. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. As chief of police. As chief of police. For the town of Hadley. For the town of Hadley. For the term appointed by the select board. For the term appointed by the select board. In accordance with the bylaws of Hadley. In accordance with the bylaws of Hadley. And the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. We would now like to bring forward the real boss, <laughs> Mrs. Kelly Mason. Now the real fun begins. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming. This is uh, pretty incredible. Um, never would have expected this many people would show up for, for me. Anyone who knows me uh, knows that I'm not exactly comfortable being the center of attention. So for those of you who are quietly sighing at the thought of me giving a speech, I want you to know that I did try to get out of coming here altogether. <laughs> um, the boss not only ordered me to be here, but also directed me to write a speech. Being here surrounded by all of you honored guests is a bit awkward, uh, but I am so very grateful for your presence. And I want to thank all of you for coming. I want to thank Chief Spanknable, Dave Isaacson, and my wife for putting this together. Uh, I know that you are all very busy people, so I appreciate all the fuss. And Mike, um, just to reiterate what you said, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate not only this, but uh, also your support throughout the, the selection process. Um, I'm truly honored to be working alongside you, and I know that we can do great things together. So thank you. There are very few professional endeavors in this world that one can accomplish all on your own. Those self-made people who need help from no one to succeed are very few and far between, if they exist at all. I look around and I see family, friends, chiefs, co-workers, and others who have taught me and supported me over the years. Without the guidance, inspiration, and encouragement of many of you who are here today, I would it would never have been possible for me to wear this badge 
and serve the town of Hadley as chief. I can vividly recall my very first day in training with uh, Sergeant Gould, who is now Chief Gould, and Dave Bertera. I recall Dave sighing and squaring me away in my uniform as he described my appearance as that of a soup sandwich. <laughs> <coughs> um, coincidentally enough, he did the same thing about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> the very first time I turned on the lights and siren, it was suggested to me by Buddy that if I did not stop, stop smiling like an idiot and pay attention, that I was going to be directed to sit in the back seat. <laughs> So when I use the words guidance, inspiration, and encouragement, it doesn't always mean what the rest of you think it means. But in all seriousness, I could not be more grateful to those men and to other people who trained me and taught me how to be a police officer when I first started this career. Along those lines, I would like to take a brief moment and thank just a few people who not only guided me through this process, but were willing to speak up and suggest to others that I was the right person for this job. It is not an exaggeration when I say that I could stand up here and rattle off the names of all of you to express my thanks, but it would honestly take me hours. I don't think anyone wants to hear me talk for that long. <laughs> District Attorney Sullivan, Sheriff Garvey, Detective Lieutenant Robin Whitney, and Chief of the Child Abuse Unit, Linda Pisano. <clears throat> While there were many others who assisted me during the selection process, these four people were willing to put their names and reputations behind me and put pen to paper to say that I have the ability to lead this department. I thank you all. I would like to thank the entire Hadley Select Board, Town Administrator David Nixon, and all of you who served on the Police Chief Selection Committee for all of your hard work to locate a new chief and leader for this department. Your professionalism and willingness to scrutinize every aspect of, of this process was second to none. Regardless of whether or not I was selected, you have done this town a great service. The Huckowitz family. Dennis gave me my start in this profession. He believed in me and saw potential in me. While we didn't always agree, I was able to earn his trust and he put me in a position to be here today. I will always be grateful to him and to you for your support. <coughs> Excuse me. For people like Mike Majewski and others who spoke up at the board meeting, and for those of you who made all those phone calls to Selectman West, I cannot overstate how grateful I am for your willingness to stand up for me and for this department. Your loyalty to this town cannot be measured. I thank you all. To my parents, my brother, my extended family who are here today, I would like to say, I would like to say that I've always shown appreciation and gratitude for the love and support that you've all provided me. But as with most people, support, support from family is almost always underappreciated and often goes unnoticed. But it is always there. And for that, I thank you. Joe LaFond. <clears throat> Joe is someone who I've known for about 15 years now, but it was over the last several years that we became close. I never expected Joe to be involved in the selection process, but he was right there the whole time. I felt ashamed talking to him about how stressful the process was, but all I heard on the other end were words of support and encouragement. The interview questions would have been better, but we'll call it square. I want to thank my wife, Kelly. For more than a year, our department has been in a sort of limbo and when you care as much as I do about this department, you end up in limbo as well. Mentally, that is not necessarily a good place to be with your family. I have no words to express how thankful I am for you. Your unwavering support, endless encouragement, and willingness to bite your tongue when I know you didn't want to are things that I cannot thank you for enough. Knowing when to leave me alone or when to step in and tell me to suck it up has become an art form for you. This is a dream job for me, and I intend on doing it to the very best of my ability, but I want you and our children to know that you will always come first. <clears throat> I should probably skip to the end. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to thank Damien for stepping up and leading this department through this very difficult time. 
I very much appreciate your friendship and all that you've done for Hadley PD. And I look forward to continuing our work together to make this department better. To the rest of my coworkers, who I consider family, this has not been an easy time for us. We have dealt with loss and fought almost daily to hold things together. But everyone recognized that no one person was more important than the group of us. And everyone understood over this past year that we still had a job to do. Whether it be in dispatch, trying to calm someone on the phone so you can extract the right information, in administration, trying to keep track of policies, procedures, paying bills, making sure the officers get their detailed pay, or the officers on the street doing what needs to be done to keep this town safe. Your willingness to stand up for our department is something that you should be proud of, and you can bet that I am proud of all of you. You can be sure that as chief I will make mistakes, and things will not always go as we hope. I will make decisions that will not please all of you, but I will promise you that I will never forget that my job is to do what is best for our department and the people who we serve. I encourage you all to remember that last part. As the law books get thicker and thicker, the statutes become even more puzzling, and it seems that those who write the laws do not necessarily have a connection with those who enforce the laws. I remind you that police work, at its core, is constructed on that simple concept, service. I don't like it either. <laughs> <clears throat> when things seem to get so complicated that you lose sight, of why we do this, remember that at the end of the day, we are simply problem solvers, asked to provide service to our community. This can be a dangerous job, complete with unpredictability, and at times, filling us with a fear of the unknown. Yet we pledge to those who we serve that we will forge ahead and continue to work to bridge any gap that may exist between us. Remember that we are entrusted with a tremendous amount of power by those who expect us to use it wisely. Let us honor that trust and serve with integrity and pride. I know that you will, and I am proud to serve alongside of all of you. Thank you. Please remain standing or rise so that we can dismiss the colors. Detail, attention. Ready to retire the colors. Detail, forward, mark. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I believe we're having a social now, so thank you very much for coming out today.